Christmas Day 7, Steffi here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 5 for lipsticks. Now, I love lipsticks, you guys know how I'm obsessed with lipsticks. And I had to bring it down to just my top 5 for fall. And without further ado, I'm just going to get into them because I'm so excited to show it with you. Okay, so I want to go in straight away with what I'm wearing today. In this video, I'm wearing two products. I'm actually wearing the BH Cosmetics Lip Liner in Rogue and on top I've got my first full lipstick and this is by Barry M. These are the um, moisture lip paints if I'm not mistaken. This is the 156. Um, I can't remember the exact name of this. I think it's like Berrylicious or something and it's a really nice berry purple. I will swatch this here for you guys and you'll be seeing a swatch of me with it on my lips without the lip liner as well at the moment. It's just this gorgeous kind of purpley pinky fuchsia shade it's dark enough to be wearable because you can actually go as deep as you want and go as purple as you want and i used to love wearing this i remember the first time i picked this up i was in england and it was christmas time and i was obsessed with this color like i wanted every single purple that i could find it's just a gorgeous fall kind of color and especially if you want to go for that pop of color this is amazing next i'm going to go on to a red color and this was a hard because I was looking for just that one red and I do have a lot of reds that I love. I love the Riri Woo, I love Russian Red by MAC, um, I love Max Factor's Riri Tuesday but this will have to be a staple and it's the Rimmel London Kate in the number 111 Kiss of Life. This is such a gorgeous red. I will show you right now as you'll be seeing in the little clip. Um, it is just that vibrant matte red lip. You need a staple red lip, especially if you want to be wear like all these vibrant colours and stuff. I just like wearing this with a liner, very simple makeup and just a pop of colour on the lip. I love my red lipsticks and you guys know how much I do love red lipsticks, especially if you see my Instagram lately, it's all about reds. But I just have to have a red staple in my full lipsticks. Next I'm going to talk about this pink shade and this is by MAC and it's the Girl About Town and it's an amplified and it's this gorgeous pink. Now you might already have this if you've been on the trend for when um, everyone wanting to know what Cheryl Cole was wearing. Um, I think it was an, at an X Factor thing and she was wearing Girl About Town and everyone went crazy for this. Now this is just this gorgeous fuchsia blue toned pink. Um, it's a staple, I guess, in my um, little kit. This was one of my, this takes me back to about five years ago, four years ago, when I used to wear it constantly when I was studying for my makeup artistry. It's how long I've had it, and it's just amazing consistency. I love it for fall because you can just use a pop of colour in the winter time and just go very natural and just add that pop of colour and just looks amazing especially with any kind of going out kind of thing or if you're going out in the morning or for work don't do too much just do a pop of colour and just simple eyes and you're done that's why we love about um, vibrant colours especially when it comes to winter time I just love these vibrant colours I'm just obsessed next is this little gold bullet this as you can tell by the packaging you already know is by Jared Cosmetics I love the brand they just produce some really good products um, this is the 1995. I already have two of these, and it's just that staple brown. Um, you would have seen me wearing this yesterday in the Chubby Bunny Challenge. Me and both my sister and I were wearing this. I did her makeup um, as well yesterday, and um, I literally did exactly what I had on and that transferred onto her and she wanted to wear the 1995 as well so if you're interested in seeing what we were wearing or what lipstick we were wearing yesterday it was this little baby 1995 it's just the perfect brown shade smooth yet semi matte I would say I would say uh, this kind of this lipstick would be more on the matte shade um, but I do love it especially under like um, a matte lip liner or even a cotton NYX lip liner that's a brownie shade and it just looks amazing on and I definitely recommend a brow lipstick especially in the fall Kylie Jenner's fault that's all I can say I leave the best for last as you already know and I do love my Moby pink lipsticks and this is the Colourpop Licky Sticks in Lumia this is the collaboration with Kathleen Lights now if they ever decide to discontinue this I would definitely have to pick up about three or four of these because this is my favourite I use this nearly all the time and it's just that perfect Maybe colour, it's that one there, and you can see a little clip of it as well at the moment. 
I just love this shade. It just gives you that perfect mauvey shade. It goes really well with the Soul lip liner if you're wondering. And it's just amazing. It's an everyday lipstick, I would say. If you if you like that kind of nudie pink fall kind of look that everyone's been supporting at the moment, definitely go for the Lumiere because it's just amazing. The $5, like $5 for this lipstick is it's amazing. I'm definitely worth the shipping in my opinion. And yeah. It would quick top five four lipsticks from me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thumbs up if you're enjoying this top five series. There's more top five series coming this vlogmas, so stay tuned for those. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day eight. Bye guys!